sketch and that, and I'll do lighter things. But yeah, usually I work from photographs and uh, I have to store those because yeah, the season and just, just the light in the canvases too. I like that direct sunlight and that doesn't last very long either. So without the camera, I wouldn't be able to save the information. Now they're not, they're not photorealist, but I have to save the light and the, the flowers that way for sure. I like how you've done the black background. Yeah, background. Black, Quite black. dramatic, yeah. Thanks. Well, that, that was also directly inspired by Rome and like the old masters and the light and dark there. When you go into these churches and there's tons of flowers, um, you know, around the altars and that, and it's all light and dark. And so it's very high contrast. I said the whole city is that way. Like I, I've been there before, but I now I've I've been back there a couple of times just in the last couple of years and that, that really inspired me too, but definitely the old masters like Caravaggio and that. I, actually, I was just, <laughs> I'm sitting here, I was waiting for the call, so I'm reading my Caravaggio book, but um, it's, all, it's all black backgrounds and yeah. that's, mm -hmm. that's what really makes the flowers pop. Well, and, and summertime is definitely my time, that bright summer light, or again, that kind of light there is in Rome. It's definitely a warm light. And that's why I was, I've even gone, uh, I'm more partial to lighter flowers now too, because then they really seem to reflect the light and you get stronger light and dark. Like I like the shots of color, but I've also uh, in my bouquets, I'm trying to have a variety of flowers, like not all, some are just one color, but I realized I like a, a one that maybe has a, a magenta one, soft pink, cream, rather than let's say all red or something like that. So I've sort of changed them that way and, and not been afraid to put more flowers in. That's oh one other, because my earlier flower paintings, I was doing sort of like a portrait of one flower kind of thing. And now I'm, I'm, I'm playing more with all the shapes of the bunches and that. So, uh, yeah, so that's how you sort of progress and change and, you know, from one year to the next, you sort of get, get new ideas, hopefully, and, and keep going that way. and roses have become my new favorites. I used to do tulips and poppies, but I, again, it's the shape very solid sculptural shape with a lot of light and dark in it. So you're looking for the right, um, yeah, subject for sure. But yeah, peonies have become my favorite for sure, just because of the variety of color and the light and dark in it. Well, one thing I really notice about your work is how um, um, sparse the paint is and and you're so effective with it without going back into it and adding more and more paint it seems but oh thanks yeah I I know a lot of people like impasto but I, I use it almost like a watercolor where I like the translucency of oil it you can get beautiful if you look at the shadows and that there's a lot of translucency in there of, of multiple layers that you can't get if you use like I always call it like sort of putting peanut butter on toast with a knife kind of thing. Like that's a nice effect, but then you've just oh. got the surface. So that's, that's the way I've, I've always done it. Mm -hmm. 